Welcome Year 6 to Week 9 of your home learning. Mrs Thornley here this week. Um, we've put together some ideas on the Google Drive for you. So there's the familiar um, subjects that you are used to seeing each week. And we've got some new topics coming up in our science, computing and a really cool project in art this week. This week's reading comprehension is on Queen Elizabeth II, uh, which links with our history. And then you've got a poem read by Benjamin Zephaniah. If you click on the YouTube link that I've put on the top of the poem, you'll be able to hear him reading it to you. And then you can answer a few questions around that poem. Familiar with the spag sheet as always this week, keeping those skills sharp. And spelling is a spelling rule, shus, spelt C-I-O-U-S or T-I-O-U-S. And then there's a word search for you to have a go at. This week's English task is thinking about some of the amazing records that have been broken more recently. But you might want to make up some of your own. We are really familiar with Tom Moore, who was the famous colonel who has raised more than £32 million for the NHS in his um, achievements of walking 100 laps around his garden. And I know you will have all seen that on the news more recently um, when he broke the world record for that and a number one hit single. But you may not be as familiar with some of these other record-breaking attempts that have happened. This young man has been practising his skateboarding skills and has broken a world record like, in completing a 1,080-degree oh turn. Happened? So you might want to think about some of the other amazing record-breaking things that people do and maybe there are some things that you've heard of during lockdown. So your task this week is to have a look at the sheet and I've given you some examples of alternative record-breaking attempts that you might want to make up. And I've also put an example, a model of excellence, so a newspaper report um, written about Tom Moore. And your task this week is to write a newspaper report about one of the record-breaking attempts that you can either make up or you might find online. The maths then this week is the same um, white rose. You've got the year six home learning sheets that we'll put up on the drive. Mr Cole's got together some maths extension sheets. So there's a couple of challenges there, both around measures. Um, one on area and one on volume there so you've got a couple of different challenges to try and we'll also put year seven home learning up on the google drive for you to have a go out for those of you that want a greater challenge our science topic has changed now and we're now moving on to looking at life cycles we're starting this journey by looking at life cycles in plants miss edison's put together a home learning task sheet and she's put the video link for the video that you're watching behind right now uh, it's a bite-sized video and you can click on the link to watch the whole thing and listen to the audio as well when you've had a little watch of the video and you have a much better understanding of how plants reproduce and spread their seeds and so on, you can then have a go at the task sheet that Miss Edison's put on the Google Drive. There's some facts um, all around the different ways that plants reproduce and then there's a labelled diagram which you need to add the labels and the annotations to and there's a sheet that's going to help you do that. You can draw your own, you don't have to use a copy. The STEAM challenge this week is using some everyday objects, including tin foil, a plastic bottle and then water to see if you can create a torch this week. So you might want to have a go at that. This week's history looks at the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. Miss Edelston has put together a separate video on the YouTube channel, so have a look at that first. These are the sheets that you'll find on the Google Drive which talk about some of the most significant events during the Queen's reign so far. We'd like you to diamond nine these events and decide which you feel are most significant to those which you feel are least significant. The second task Miss Edelston's put together is based around the images depicted on our Bank of England notes. Every now and again the Bank of England releases a new note because they want to update the image of the Queen, but they always change the reverse of the note as well, updating this with a significant figure in history. A look at these images, you've got a famous author, Jane Austen, You've got Winston Churchill, famous Prime Minister during the Second World War. And in the last image we've put together, you've got Charles Darwin, a famous scientist um, and biologist of his time. Now you'll find this sheet on the Google Drive as well, which is a blank Bank of England note. And in light of the fact that the £20 note is going to be reprinted as of this year, we'd like you to think about a significant figure in history that you think deserves to be placed on the new note. 
says, Roberts has been developing some new computing for us this term and she's asking you to do a couple of tasks which is based around HTML, hypertext markup language. It's all linked with coding and she's done a separate video for you on the YouTube channel so have a look out for that so that you have a real good understanding of what she's asking you to do. If you've been practicing your pop art skills over the last few weeks, so Mrs Woods put you together a culmination of these ideas now based around the famous moon landings in 1969. She'd like you to create a comic strip with a bit of a twist and she wants it based around the moon landings and the events that happened in the lead up to that. She's asked you to watch a couple of videos which gives you some ideas and depicts the different events but also she's put on there a couple of examples of comic strip images around the same subject matter so you can glean some ideas from that too. And then at the bottom of the sheet she's put you together some pop art images that are all based around moon and spaceships and so on. So I think you'll have a lot of fun with that and remember it can take you a couple of weeks this one So, but we look forward to seeing them soon. Lastly, just want to say thank you if you've been sending in your home learning, which we've celebrated with you on our celebration video. Um, any activities you've been doing and pictures, it's been lovely to see. So thank you for sharing those with us. And last of all, happy birthday to anybody who's got their birthdays this week. And I hope you enjoy it in the sunshine and have fun. And we look forward to seeing some of you soon. So good luck, Year 6. Thank you for sharing. And we hope you're enjoying the home learning we're putting together for you. Take care for now. Bye bye.